What's going on my friends? This is Mr. Dreamcast. Um, we're going to do a guide on how to blackjack and train your thieving. This is the best possible thieving XP I know up until you get 91. It pretty much evens out with Pyramid Plunder. Alright, so what you need is just a spot for your money. I like to put one coin here. It just makes it easier so I don't have to mess with it later. And you Palvinic teleports. I'm not sure how you say that, but I say Palvinic. Um, you grab food. And you want to make sure you have a spot with noted food. Here you go, and that will supply you. That's, that's enough food right there for 91 thieving or 99. You can even go up to 99. This method is probably about 250k XP an hour, anywhere from 200 to 300k I'd say, uh, but it probably averages out to about 250k XP an hour. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and you also need a blackjack. Where's these blackjacks? Uh... Okay, and you need a blackjack. So make sure you equip your blackjack. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this so it doesn't distract you guys. And we're gonna teleport to Pavnik. So after you do that, you walk down, and this is for uh, blackjacking minifite thugs. This is the best way to do it. This is the most XP, so what you want to do is go down south over the minifite thugs. So just ride your way down. And I don't think anyone else knows about this, so I'm, I'm giving you guys a little secret. I hope you guys learn from this one here. Now the goal here is to first off check and make sure there's no one in this building here. You want to go into this building. There's a thug already in there, so we might not have the right one. Let me double check. Yeah, this is not the right thug. Okay. Basically, I'm going to lure this guy out of here. I like having no one in here, but some people don't really care. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to get a thug that where his walking limit is, is this point right here. This is the farthest he can walk. And you're going to lure him just like this. You're going to walk all the way up to here. And then you're going to run past them here, and you're going to close the curtain, and you're going to knock them out and just steal from them and train your thieving. So we're going to lure this guy out first. We're going to get him out. And I'm going to show you where the thug usually is. Um, let's go ahead and knock him out. There we go. Now we can close this. Okay. And so it's usually the thug that's up here, so it's probably this one. If not, we're going to try that one next. So let's see what this guy can do. He's gonna follow me. Come back in here. You're okay if people walk into this first room, but I still like it empty. It's just my preference. I'm gonna close the curtain. Okay, so you walk up to here. Make sure you click this spot right here just before that crate. And I like to test it first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk one more square south. Make sure he can't walk any farther, so let's check. Okay, we got the thug we want. Can't walk any farther, so what we're gonna do is lure him again. He's, he's lured, so he's following me. Go to the square past him, close the curtain, and there you go. All you gotta do is knock him out, steal twice, and keep the, uh, you just repeat that right there. You just repeat. So you can do this, I do it, I recommend doing this until 91 thieving. Um, if you do it until 91 thieving, you can do Pyramid Plunder to 99. That's just my preference. Some people will do this to 99, but you knock them out once, pickpocket, pickpocket, knock them out, pickpocket, okay. And if it ever hits you like that, you still try to pickpocket them. You want to make sure you try to pickpocket them after every knockout, no matter what. Because if you don't, and you knock them out and sit there and wait, he will start attacking you and he'll get aggressive. And I'll try to show you. Let me see here. Give me just one second. It shouldn't take long. Uh, maybe it will. I don't know. I got 91 thieving, so it might take a second here. Let's, uh, let's not worry about it. Okay, so if you knock him out and he tries to hit you, make sure you keep pickpocketing him. So anyways, just keep your HP up. Make sure you eat. And then if you ever need to refill your food, what you're going to do is you close this curtain on him. You leave him in there come back out here you close this curtain as well so no one walks in you walk all the way up here and there is a merchant that will allow you to unknow your item I think there's a right click option now 
yeah there is okay so bank a bank note merchant what you're gonna do is you just click them and you should have enough money it's five coins each to unbank or not note these sharks so you just click yes please and oh okay wait wait a second you, okay use this on him use your you use your food on him you use your noted food on him exchange all and there you go go back to that minifight thug and repeat the process so that's how you get 99 thieving guys um, I recommend getting up to 91 and then going to pyramid plunder that way you can get uh, well, in my opinion enjoyable XP <laughs> This is real tedious, um, takes a lot of clicking and a lot of focusing, so that's how you do it here though, and this is a, a very good, uh, uh, most people don't know that you can take this one thug over here, he's usually farthest northeast from here, you lure him up here, make sure he can't walk past this point, and then you come over here, and you go and just knock him out right here. You can do it forever, you can do it until you're automatically logged out, so. This also makes you guys a little bit of money, so enjoy this method, and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, look at my other videos. I have some other guys. I'm creating more videos. I'm kind of new right now, so I appreciate everyone who watches and likes and subscribes and comments. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.